Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I have Joker's Ice Cream Surprise, also known as Uncle Joker's Ice Cream Surprise. You get it in set 7888. This is just Joker's Ice Cream Truck. I'm not going to do a review, probably won't, maybe I will, on the Tumblr because I don't even have it built. I just built this, but maybe in the future. But let's just get right into it. So, to start us off, we'll start with the minifigures, move the truck aside. I'll start off with the henchman of the Jokers. This guy came out in two sets. He came out in Joker's airlift, or the helicopter set for the Joker, and he came out in this one, obviously. Um, i got to move some stuff so I can get my arm comfortable. Okay, now I'm good. So, he comes with a little popsicle. Um, the normal henchman face that showed up on two faces and Mr. Freeze's as well. And the normal goon hat. And then just no printing on the torso like most goons are. The two-faced one had a half shirt, half black, half white. But otherwise, no really changes. He came with a Tommy gun or just a regular gun. I just put the Tommy gun on him. Obviously, I can't find the other gun. And like I said, I'm not doing the Tumblr, so I will not be reviewing this Batman in it. I probably will never review that Batman since, like I said, I won't be doing the Tumblr, I bet. But, um, anyways, just gray legs. Not really you can describe. Not a lot you can describe on that minifigure. Um, next is Uncle Joker. Or Joker, because it says Uncle. If you move that, it says Uncle right there. But, um, anyways, he comes with a popsicle again. As just... Yeah, regular, your regular torso printing for the Joker. He came out in the same two sets as the goon. Um, the Wolverine hair and the Joker head. Around, fifth, I would say, $50 for this guy. He's really expensive. And then he just came with a nice bang flag. I'll put them right there so you guys can still see him. Now let's get to the truck. Whoopsies. Knocked something over in my Gotham City. But, um, so I'm not zoomed in at all. So, front of the truck's pretty decent. You can also remove it, but I don't know why you would want to. So, you can see the build. Pretty decent. So, I was going to just about to say, but then I didn't. I forgot for some reason. The sticker, there's many stickers on this truck. But once in my life, I'm not mad. I'm still I'm a fan. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'm a fan of these stickers. I do not hate them. Because if you didn't have these stickers, it would just be a pretty plain white and green ice cream truck with a ice cream cone at the top. And I will get to this later, but there's a purpose to this ice cream cone at the top. And I love it. Um, so you can see there's these little... Um, uh, I don't know what they're called, but like, to, for like the music to come out of. A little sticker right there. It says Venom. Uncle Joker's ice cream surprise. With the Joker and the ice cream. On the back, we have opening doors. I'm not going to open them all the way because there's something in there that goes with this ice cream cone. It has a sticker that says I Heart Gotham and the different ice cream flavors. I can't read them, but maybe you guys can. Sorry if you can hear my brother. He's a little whiny today. You can see ice cream because of the joke. You scream ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Same sticker right here. Same sticker right there. And then you can see Uncle Joker's ice cream surprise. As then, obviously, you can fit a minifigure in here. But you would have to kind of not just take off the top, but also take off the windshield. And then sometimes on minifigures, when they're, you put them in real good, when, they, when you come out, it comes out with this. It's not a big deal. You just take them off and put it back in, put it back on there. But um, I'll show you what it looks like with the minifigure in the truck. So, you can just barely tell it's in there. And then, um, I'll show you the purpose to the cone. So, it's your choice if you want to open this, or if you want it to 
do it itself. I'm going to do that. So there's a missile in there. Sorry if you wanted to skip to it. And then you just pull the cone, push the cone. Oh, never mind. You pull it back or to the front of the truck. And then hopefully you guys can... Okay, so sorry if you couldn't see that. I had to go get it quick. But it shot out this. And then to reload it, really you would just... Do that. Kind of the same as the Bat Cave one. Just a whole lot different. <laughs> and this one is gray. The Bat Cave one is black. Here's the bottom of the truck. For some weird, odd reason, you would want to look at this. But a good idea would to be is to try and build the truck. Like, just try and custom make the truck. I tried doing that before I even got the set ever. How it came out, because I didn't have any of these lime green pieces. These are really unique for this set. Yeah, I didn't have any pieces. To correct. So you can see the bottom like that, and you can see the bottom of mine. Pretty different. Since I do like my bottom here better, I mean, who wants it yellow? I mean, it came with a bat thing with had a lot of yellow, but they were... I can't talk. Have They had different um, bags, I don't understand that, but just, um, just something a little funky. So that is the Joker's Ice Cream Surprise. And if you want to get this set, it is set 7888. As I will hopefully get a review of Two-Face's Armored Truck as well. Um, but I don't know when or if that will even happen. So just be aware and hope you guys liked this video and continue watching PNCP productions as peace.